Now on the same triangle, you might notice there's another angle, one of the ones I mentioned before on this list, that's also hiding this triangle, I just haven't measured it. Which one's hiding? 60 degrees is up here. See that? Because it's the complement, right? Do you remember when we were looking at complementary angles? You've got a right angle, these two have to be complementary. So if you have 60 up there, then you can use sine, cos, and tan for 60 degrees as well. Sine 60, cos 60, and tan 60. What's sine 60? Have a look. Now we're not thinking about from this corner, we're looking from this guy. Sine is which pair of sides in ratio? Opposite and hypotenuse. So what's opposite the 60? It's root 3, and the hypotenuse is still the hypotenuse. So this guy is root 3 on 2. Didn't we write down root 3 on 2 a second ago? Yeah. Which one was that? Cos it was cos 30. Oh. <laughs> because it's the complement. Exactly. Look, see? Sine 60, cos 30, they're complements. So that's why these two angles are the two ratios are the same. By that logic, you should be able to tell me what this is without even looking at the triangle, right? What's the complement of this? It should be sine 30, right? 30 and 60 are complements. So therefore, you should be able to tell me cos 60 is going to be a half. <laughs> People do care about tans. There actually is, there is a complement of tan. We'll come to it a little bit later, okay? Um, you can tell me what tan 60 is. Have a look. Have a look. No, it's something else. That's something else. Opposite and adjacent. Have a look. I I'm looking from up here now. So what's opposite the 60? Root 3. What's adjacent? 1. So this is root 3 on 1 or just root 3. Okay? So you get these six exact values for trig ratios out of this one triangle. Um, we call this guy, unimaginatively, we call him the 30, 60, 90 triangle because that's the size of all the angles. Okay? Now, I know, right? Okay. Now I said to you there were three angles that have nice ratios. I've done 30, I've done 60, so what's left? Now, I want you to think about this guy for a second. 45 is special, it's unique, because 45 is its own complement. Um, 45 plus 45 gives you 90. So, if it's its own complement, then what kind of triangle will we get? We're going to draw a new one. It's going to be isosceles, very good. Can you draw me? Uh, that's not very isosceles. Let's try again. That's better. Can you please draw for me an isosceles right angle triangle? It's right angled and it's isosceles. Are any of the two sides the same, Georgia? Are any of them the same? I'll take that answer as a no. Okay, now... Um, I remember what isosceles means. Hooray, yeah. Yeah, yeah got it. Okay, so you've drawn a fresh new triangle. It's the last one we have to draw to get these values out of it. Now, you told me it was isosceles, right? You told me it was isosceles. So if one of these sides is, say, equal to 1, okay, what would the other shorter side be? It's isosceles, so these two sides are equal. Okay? If those two sides are equal, then you can quickly, with Pythagoras, work out the hypotenuse. 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2. So that makes this guy the square root of 2. Okay? All right, now... From here, we can work out sine 45, cos 45, and tan 45 in just the same way as we had to go with these guys. Sine 45. Let's use this 45 for the sake of it. What's opposite on hypotenuse this time? 1 on root 2. Okay. Now, we can go to cos 45 and do adjacent on hypotenuse, but we don't even need to. Because remember I said, when we think about complements, right? 45 is its own complement. So sine 45 is the same as cos 45 because they have the same complementary angle. And you can go ahead and you can confirm it. There's adjacent, there's hypotenuse, it's still 1 on root 2. So it's the same deal. Okay? And so that's why lastly, when you have a look at tan 45, tan is opposite on adjacent. Here's the opposite. Here's the adjacent. 
So it's just going to be equal to, which is the other nicest um, ratio you can get on your calculator. If you pop in 1045, you'll get 1. Okay.